Okay, let's continue. <clears throat> Um, Deutsche Einheitskurzschrift in the middle or German unified um, shorthand is um, still in use in, in the official shorthand system in Germany and um, Austria. <clears throat> um, so yeah, to come back to our question, can transcribers deal with shorthand? Um, from our experience, we can say yes, it can, and it's still not working here. Mm, can we switch? No, no. Yeah, yes, it can. <clears throat> yeah, okay. So, and we have to prove it. So we um, have been, uh, or we will be able to train uh, some promising models um, by now. Um, you can see two examples here. It's still work in progress, uh, but we can say that Transcribus can prove its smart capabilities in this case. Um, here just some examples. It can uh, differentiate between longhand and shorthand. Uh, it recognizes different positions of characters within the writing space and so on. But there are still um, two big challenges despite all the others that short, uh, shorthand brings. Um, as always, there is a small, small amount of transcribed material so that you can create your ground shoot and um, few experts that can assist you to um, or creating your ground shoot. But um, nevertheless, you can, you can address these challenges by optimizing your workflow as, as uh, yeah, in many um, cases. And here, just to point out three things, you can, in the case of shorthand or um, shorthand in German language, create synthetic training data and add to your ground fruit. You can, um, or it might be useful to uh, reduce your learning rate during your training mo model training. And of course, at the end, you can, um, or it might be useful, not it might be, it is useful to correct your output and refine the output uh, using additional tools. So you can continue. Yeah. Speaking of using additional tools, we played around with the GPT-4 for post-correction of uh, shorthand uh, HDR results, and our results were mixed. So with the Deutsche Einheitskurzschrift, as you can see here, the uh, um, quality was very good. So almost... Uh, all errors were corrected by the language model, as you can see with the green uh, marks uh, down below here. But uh, regrettably, uh, the important uh, Gabelsberger shorthand system, the results were really bad. So um, the model for Gabelsberger has a higher CR, which means that the transcription is worse than the uh, Deutsche Einheitskurzschrift uh, HDR result. And here, uh, GPT-4 hallucinated, uh, uh, yeah, really, really bad. So we cannot use it for Gabelsberger right now. So to conclude, shorthand is tough, but it works to some degree. The, uh, reducing the learning rate during training seemed to help. And synthetic data, we do have synthetic data for Deutsche Einheitskurzschrift, but we don't for Gabelsberger. It would be good to add synthetic Gabelsberger training data for uh, our uh, training, right? So regarding the role of large language models, if an expert can correct it, and if the, if the CR is low enough, LLMs will help, but if the uh, CR is not good enough, it won't uh, make any sense to use it. Uh, that's our experience, and we are hoping for transformer-based models for shorthand in the future. Thank you. Thank you for this very insightful talk on the uh, on shorthand. Any questions? Yeah, for the people. Um, yeah, thanks for this interesting talk. And uh, how did you create synthetic data? There's a tool. 
there's a tool online where you can uh, input long um, longhand and it will convert it to a shorthand to Deutsche Einheit Squatch I think we have one more. Um, we have a slide with the. We have prepared some more slides for you. <laughs> ah, back. Okay, yeah, you have different tools uh, which you can use. Um, one of these, for example, is um, on the left side, that's how it looks like. And you have here, yeah, where you can find it. And this one you can use, sorry, <laughs> this one you can use, you just put your digital text and yeah, it transforms your digital text to your to analog um, shorthand. Yeah, just put your text and you have also this you know, on this page, you can find some prepared data already, like the whole books, which were transformed to synthetic data. Yeah, uh, this is only for Deutsche Einheit Squad Shift. You can, you have also tools for Stolze Schrei uh, system, but for Gabelsberger, no, there is not yet uh, a tool available online. Yeah. Other, other questions? Okay. So can you explain how you replace it? Thank you. Uh, can you explain how you exactly use GPT is the question. Well, um, for the time being, we, we just played around. We uh, conducted prompt engineering and uh, asked uh, GPT nicely to, and then we interpreted, we, we conducted a qualitative interpretation for the time being. If, if this goes to a production stage, of course, we would uh, use the API, but uh, for the time being, it's just uh, the same prompt for uh, Deutsche Einheitsquartschrift and for Gabelsberger uh, yielded vastly different results. <laughs>